Uh, yeah, I'm in fifth year international development studies. I take a minor in anthropology actually. Uh, I'm four courses away from graduating, so I'll be taking courses uh, if reelected. If not, I'll be finishing up in the summer. Three words, I would say uh, results for students. Um, and in a sentence, it's sort of building on the work that I already have, uh, what I know about the student federation, about the university, in providing results for students in general. Yeah, some main goals, um, I have a few, as, as well as my team, the Student Action Team, uh, working on food services on campus, uh, that's something that's been prioritized uh, on our team. Uh, things like making sure food's more accessible in terms of quality, um, in terms of price, making sure the students, because uh, like we're here all the time, to have good food is something that's important to, to us and to students all over campus. Um, making sure students are represented well, um, that w whether that be to the administration, to the province, to the to the federal government as well. Uh, we want to work uh, with students across Ontario to uh, advocate for lower tuition fees and for rights of students overall. Um, I would say uh, from for my position, ensuring that uh, members know about. Uh, the budget and the services that are available to them. So uh, one of my goals is to start budget town hall meetings to get students involved in sort of the decision, de sorry, the decision making process um, and to be able to um, have, it, have direct input into the budget of the Student Federation. Um, this year I worked on things like making sure the budgets were online, so just uh, continuing that and sort of increasing the amount of uh, information that members get is really important to me and my team. For sure. Well, um, I, w I was elected to this position last year, and since May 1st, I've been working as youth finance of the Student Federation. Um, I think most of all, um, I have the experience to do so because I've I've done all the things that are required of BP Finance, um, being uh, dealing with the health plan, dealing with the four businesses of the Student Federation, uh, dealing with HR of all the staff. We have uh, over 150 staff regularly at the Student Federation, so to sort of know that going into it is a huge advantage in um, just n knowing what to prioritize. Um, how to how to manage staff, um, how to deal with um, all the questions about the health plan and the regular everyday occurrences within the businesses. Best and worst things. I, uh, best things I think is um, you know sort of the victories that came out of uh, the work that I did, especially with food services. Um, I had a, a big uh, hand in removing the 25 cent uh, debit charge, both at food services at the university as well as um, the businesses of the Student Federation, as well as opposing mandatory meal plans. Um, myself and Anne Marie had um, uh, uh, did a lot of work in making sure that those were not implemented for students and residents, and I think um, students saw that as a big victory and was one of the things I was most proud of uh, during my mandate. Um, one of the worst things, I think there's always things that we can work on. Uh, for me, it's, again, finding the, the balance between um, between all the things that are required of a VP Finance as an executive of a student union is, you know, if it were up to me, you'd, I'd always be out talking to students, but there are a lot of things dealing with the budget, the health plan, the businesses, like I mentioned, that need to be uh, cared to on a regular basis, and just uh, balancing all those things is uh, something we can always work on. So that'll be something that I will need to improve on, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll be running again this year with the Student Action Slate, and uh, many of us ran last year, so we have uh, a lot of experience, and I think that we share a common vision for students um, in, in fighting for accessible education, uh, representation of students, uh, dealing with equity-based things on campus, ensuring that all students, no matter what their position, are being heard and they're being represented by their student union. Um, Currently, like we have a really, we have a really good work dynamic in which, you know, if there are issues, we we talk about them. We take the time to make sure that we are making the best decision for students, and that's what it comes down to all the time. Is like, what do we feel as a as a collective, as a group, is the best result or the best choice for students? And um, you know, like we don't always agree you know, with like uh, with any group of people. Like, there's not always going to be agreements, but um, we take the time to to hash things out and make sure that we are making the best decision for students. For sure. Um, I think going into any election, um, you have to assume that um, students will make the best decision on their own, and whether that be they choose a whole slate or they choose um, a mixture of any, any of the slates that are running, um, that that's what students voted for, and so you have to respect that and 
um, above anything else is that you're there not to serve the purpose of, of a slate, but to serve the purpose of the membership at large. So, um, I mean, like I said before, with any group of people, there's probably going to be disagreement. There will always be um, room for discussion, but um, with my experience and knowledge as VP Finance this year, I'll be able to, to share that with any anyone new on the executive and to make, again, best decision for students. I think you need to be you need to be committed. Obviously, you need to you need to really want to do the job because um, it is it's not a simple nine to five. Like there's there's weeks where you're working you know sixteen hour days, and there's weeks where it's a little bit more quiet. But there there's always something to do. So you need to be committed to the job because uh, yeah, you need to you need to love it. And from what I, from my experience, the executives there currently um, live and breathe. Uh, sort of the work that they do so it's it's really refreshing when people um, put that much work into to what they're doing and I think also you need to you need to be patient like their patience is is key in, in any sort of success is like um, you need to if you want something enough you have to be patient to get it so <laughs> I don't know um, Okay, I have, a, I have this friend, and her name is Rita, and she does this really great dance move, so it's called the Rita. Um, I could show you. Um, I don't know if that's uh, something you I could totally do. You totally show us. Okay, I'll show you. Um, so the thing is, is that you have to... Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll show you. I'll do it for like five seconds, because I'm not a good dancer. But the idea is that you kind of like, you, you swing your head, you swing your arm, <laughs> and you swing your legs all at the same time. So it looks a little bit something like this. Okay. And that's the Rita, and it's just like when you go out with this my friend, she that's what she does, and it's fantastic, and people clear, and it's just ridiculous. But I don't know why Hagrid comes to mind uh, automatically, but uh, I feel like you know I grew up loving Harry Potter, and just sort of. Um, I always really liked the fact that he could have been like this really big, scary, kind of like mean guy, but he wasn't. And like, I think I really like the fact that, you know, he appeared a certain way and he totally was like a sweetheart and he was, so I, I definitely, I like him in that way um, because, yeah, I just appreciated his character. I've always wanted to live like, uh, on the water, like in a beach sort of thing. So what immediately comes to mind is maybe somewhere like in Greece or Italy where it's, you know, you always have access to, to the beach or to the water where it's, that's just something that I find peaceful and I really like uh, working around. So yeah, I guess somewhere like Greece or Italy.